Hey, how y'all doing? My name is LB The Realist, and this is Realistic Studios, where I will be discussing politics, entertainment, production, news, etc., etc., this, that, and the other. Uh, what I want to talk about today is the Justice Democrats. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Justice, like Justice League. Hell, I want to be a part of the Justice League. I always wish I could be Batman. You know, because I don't have no superpowers, but you can always get rich. And you can always buy your superpowers. And you just go chill with Superman and Aquawoman and Wonder Man and all of them. Anyways, Justice Democrats launched by Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk and Jank Ugar from TYT. Um, I like both channels. I think TYT offers a varied perspective because they have different members with different perspectives on their show. I know a lot of people don't like them. Um, I have yet to unsubscribe to TYT, so you can hate me for that if you want to. Um, I just haven't done it yet. I still rock with them at this point. Secular Talk, how can you not rock with Secular Talk? I mean, come on, man. The dude's real. He's real. He's factual. He's entertaining. And now he's got an actual project called Justice Democrats with Jane and uh, a few of the people from the Bernie campaign. And I was excited about it. Um, I'm still excited about it. I have my I have my doubts. But like Kyle said, I don't want to I don't let my, my skepticism turn into cynicism, at least not yet. So I'm waiting to see what happens, um, who else endorses it, what kind of steam they get rolling. Um, but I am I am very interested. I kind of do want to sign up and put my name down. Because I do feel like I'd be a good candidate. I mean, I think I would. I mean, I'd, I'd stand up for the people. I, I want what's right for the world, to protect our environment, protect each other. Um, a lot of people don't want to do that, apparently. Uh, I've come to find out it's a very selfish world. A lot of people are really in their own bubbles. And if you ask them, they'll point blank tell you they don't give a shit about the next person. <laughs> so I think that's a problem we have. Um, we definitely need to fix that. Another problem that I want to bring up right now, besides my skepticism for Justice Democrats, is the fighting and the, and, the, um, and the bickering between progressives. We need to stop. If we don't come together soon, they're going to steamroll over us, and we need to do it two months ago. We don't have the time to lollygag. I mean, we can sit and think about our moves, and we should, absolutely, but we need to be doing something. And that's one of the reasons why I admire Justice Democrats. I don't admire the fact that they didn't really talk to us, the people, about what's going to happen and how they want to go about things. Um, they just kind of did it themselves. And that's another, I kind of respect it in the same way that I disrespect it. <laughs> because, you know, at the same time, you don't want to wait on everybody to, you know, to come to the same conclusion and get shit done. You just want to go out and do it. And if you support it, then support it. And if you don't, then fine. Get the fuck out the way. I get that message and I appreciate it. At the same time, I do think that them being alternative media, they should have did more to be more forthcoming to the people. And right now, it's not seeming like they are. They're just kind of steamrolling through. So, like I said, I'm waiting for that. But we, we really need to stop bickering between each other as progressives. We need to stop getting at each other about the, 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 the petty things and the small things that don't really matter in the end. If you stand for truth and justice and equality, we should all be on the same page. There shouldn't be a, well, I stand for all that stuff, but I can't get with this part, so fuck you. That's not cool, man. Come on. like, Just because one little thing, you're not going to agree with everyone 100%. I didn't agree with Bernie Sanders 100% or Kyle from Secular Talk. Matter of fact, I don't agree with the uh, assault weapons ban. I think that that's kind of infringing on freedoms. Yeah, you can say that, you know, having a gun is not a Second Amendment right or it's not like a, um, a God-given right. Of course, but neither is drugs, but you want to legalize all drugs. You want to legalize and regulate, regulate all drugs, but you don't want to legalize and regulate all guns. It just seems like a, there's a disconnect between those two concepts. Again, I haven't been studying politics that long. I don't know shit. I'm a 20 year, 28-year-old guy. I'm a security guard, as you can tell. I just kind of been paying attention ever since Bernie ran. Um, and 
I would like to make a difference or at least be a part of making that difference. Um, so I, I really would like us progressives to come together. Like, let this video be amending. You know, we should all just come together. Like, let's have a big conversation um, between the smaller channels, like uh, the new progressive voice and the progressive voice and the same progressive and uh, maybe even some other ones. I'm not sure if H.A. and Tim Black, if they would be down for the combo. I'm not sure if their channels are too big at this point. TYT is definitely large. Um, I don't know if they're even in the mix at this point. Um, Kyle Kalinske might be dealing with too much right now with Secular Talk. Same with Humans Report. I don't know. But we need to definitely have a dialect and come together. And people are going to have their own causes, and that's fine. But we need to figure out which causes we're going to support and which causes we're not going to support. But at the same time, we need to like really coalesce these causes and make a movement of movements so that it's not just a bunch of different people doing their own thing for different you know, for different causes. But I mean, it can be that. But if we can all come together with those causes, say one group works on election fraud, the other group works on uh, getting money out of politics, the other group works on um, ranked choice voting, and the other group works on, I don't know, something else. You catch my drift? We just need to have a movement of movements and unite under one banner. If we can do that, we will have a real shot at taking this country back. So that's all I wanted to say right now for this video. Um, again, my name is LB The Realist. Um, subscribe if you want to subscribe for more intellectual, political, entertainment talks and dialect dialogue. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to me. Like this video. Share it if you think it's shareable. If not, you know, it's cool. I'll be making more in a few. I'll see you guys later.